So that was the scene. President Biden touring the streets of Kiev with President Zelensky earlier today. He was met with the repeated sounds of, of air raid sirens, a dramatic moment that illustrates the dangers of such a trip. So where are we a year into this war? Michael Allen, former special assistant, President Bush, senior director of the counterproliferation strategy at the National Security Council. Michael, good to see you. Good afternoon to you. Dane and I were on earlier today with General Jack Keane, and I asked him, are we in this same place getting ready to talk about the dawn of year three for this war? And his answer was yes, and thus something changes. Um, how would you answer that? Well, there is something to that. I think the Biden administration needs to speed up the transfer of weapons to the Ukrainians. They're playing it too safe. They're too worried about what Vladimir Putin might do. And by the way, a war of attrition, something that is grinding and slow, only benefits the Russians because the thing that the Russians have in excessive quantities is, of course, people. They'll continue to feed soldiers into the system. The Ukrainians need to be able to kill them quickly and expeditiously and retake territory so that at the end of 2023, they're in a lot better position to begin to think about how to end this war. Okay, two specific questions here. This is what I saw earlier today before the sun came up. Uh, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that the White House notified Moscow of Biden's travel to Kiev. Is that standard operating procedure to make sure that things don't go sideways? Yes, I think it was definitely for deconfliction purposes and just to let them know that, hey, listen, our head of state is coming into this war zone and you better not do anything that would put our party at risk. So I, I think it was totally normal and appropriate to do so. OK, now back to your first answer there to do what you want. You're going to need more American taxpayer dollars. And we've already contributed a, a, a pretty high amount. How do you make the case to the American people that's still in the national interest to continue this war, which could go on for several more years if the general is correct and your observation is right, too? Well, I hope that we'll double down here in the coming months so that it won't take several more years. But the national interest is clear in at least two respects. One, if we don't put weapons transfers on the ground, we might have to do soldiers later. What do I mean by that? We might, if Russia had rolled westward, they might be on the doorstep of NATO, and we would have had to deploy tens of thousands of troops to ensure that they wouldn't have invaded NATO. Ukraine is a buffer against this reckless Putin regime, and that's in our interest. And by the way, Russia is, of course, our second greatest adversary, and the Ukrainian military is degrading their forces for much less than we pay annually to deal with Russia in another type of situation. So honestly, this is actually a cost effective way to keep the Russians in check so that we may be able to pivot to China to give it the attention mm -hmm. it deserves as a threat to the so, U.S. Uh, Michael, one last question here. In the coming year, I think about Vladimir Putin. Tomorrow he's going to make a substantial speech and he's going to make major headlines. Uh, what does he say? What are his aims for, let's say, the next 12 months? I think he's going to have a series of aims where he says, here's the minimum of what I need. I need four provinces in the south. I need to keep Crimea and I need to make substantial gains in the east. I think we're all going to look at that tomorrow and say that doesn't make any sense. That's too ambitious for Russia to have achieved and that we need to help push the Ukrainians, and by the way, warn the Chinese, ensure the Chinese don't get in this on the side, on the side of the Russians. Uh, easier said than done based on some of the reporting we're getting from Beijing, right? They, they, they could be ready to fire up a lot more weapons uh, in Russia's direction. Last comment quickly, Michael. We got to keep them on the sidelines, warn them of sanctions and diplomatic embarrassment. Even the cold and calculating Chinese need allies. Got it. Michael, thank you. We'll talk again very soon. Michael Allen, thank you.